Further south, the Blue 2 fire near Ruidoso has grown to nearly 7,500 acres. It is not at all contained. Firefighters are still working on forming fire lines, really <laughs> focusing on the southeast area. There can be a lot of what do we do moments during an emergency like the Blue 2 fire. But in southern New Mexico, the question of what do we do was met with how can we help from an organization hours away this week. Julie Friendak shares how rescue dogs are not being forgotten in the midst of all this. Come on, babies. It's hard to say no to faces like these. You have your boy. That's why Española Humane said yes to taking them in this week to its already full shelter. This group of six came from the Lincoln County Humane Society, miles from the Blue 2 fire. It's been the only place for fire evacuees to drop off dogs and small animals. On Saturday alone, within about two hours, we had about 20 animals come in. Chris Shows is the shelter manager. She says they've only been about half full this week, but that could change as quickly as the fire could change direction. Uh, with the winds and lack of moisture and everything else, we're not really sure where we're gonna go from here. Show says no matter which way this fire moves, it will impact hundreds more people. Um, right now it's a lot of uncertainty. Española Humane got the request to help during this uncertain time from one of its frequent partners, the Bissell Pet Foundation. We immediately said, yes, we'll, we're ready to jump in and, and help however we can. I think we're all struggling right now with capacity issues across the state and the entire region. Um, and if everyone says no, we can't help, um, that's pretty sad state of affairs. In less than two days, they were on the road to meet their six new shelter residents halfway between Española and Ruidoso. This is Dolly. A trip that freed up six more kennels in Lincoln County. We both got a little bit tearful, you know, um, we both recognize how stressful it is to be in these emergency situations and to have all of these animals coming through the door and know where to put them. So it was very amazing to meet and see the same, you know, kind of love and giving that, you know, we have down here, they have down up there as well. Julie Frendak, KOB4. Two of those six dogs are ready for their new homes now. The other four are scheduled for spay and neuter tomorrow, but are still available for pre-adoption.